a part of that. Mm-hmm. Like you never can contaminate no, nothing that's solid. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't I ain't never got a fear of some bullshit contaminating our legacy. Except for when they come down to trolls or people who don't who don't know or da, 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 and they don't even matter. Like majority of the people with an opinion ain't got no money. And they ain't got no no opinion that matters because they not in the industry or nothing like that. Like they opinion is just from Yeah, sideline view. They, uh, they had no idea what's really transpired. Understood. They ain't in the loop. And you understand this now you being in the industry. So you done made your way and you done made your way inside the loop. Yeah, you I ain't know what was really going on before you got in the loop. Now you got friends and family. Now you dealing with who in the loop. Now we talking about a different type of loop. You in the industry loop. Now we talking about a different type of loop where you can move city to city, state to state, and all the streets embrace you. Now I ain't like, what's up with you, man? You got a way of talking, man. Like, I'm trying to understand what you're saying, bro. I, I'm just giving you understanding based upon your message. About okay, if you think it's two different levels. I'm telling you, it's two different things. It's two different things from being a celebrity and being uh, in tune to the streets for real that you can avoid. You know what I'm saying? If you a boss okay. and you know these other bosses in a city, reach out to the bosses, unite the bosses, and avoid problems. Welcome back to the channel once again, fam. Fans are still outraged at the senseless passing of Takeoff. Some are even pointing fingers to Jay Prince Jr., who they believe should have prevented this. Just a day after the senseless shooting of Takeoff, fans are still outraged and want answers. They're pointing to Jay Prince Jr., who they believe should have de-escalated the situation before it got worse. Unfortunately, the rather graphic video of Takeoff's lifeless body has been roaming the internet, naturally. And rapper Gilly the Kid spoke out about the footage, saying that this generation is too concerned about clout. Check it out. Why every time something happened to a rapper or an athlete or an entertainer or anybody of color, the first thing to do is pull your phones out and start recording and post that shit on the internet, man. Hmm. Wow, get this. Charleston White. We're not afraid of Jake Prince up here in Dallas. Only he ain't had no influence up here. His sons know that shit. My nigga right there, nigga, they come through and try to do something. Nigga, we some big dogs up here. No, how many of them niggas only be down now? Mob ties don't exist up here because when the police kill somewhere, it's mob ties. When we need murder solved in the community and these niggas kill babies, where is my time? When the women is getting beat, and beat where is my time, homie? Where is my ties for the community program? Nigga, f*** my ties, nigga. Hard are we working for these kids up here? Don't bring no mother mob ties up to me, nigga. Them niggas don't do a goddamn thing. For a mother around here, it's a nigga nation, nigga. Been here since the 60s. We don't give a no Jay Prince, nigga. He ain't never been able to reach his arms up here and help no nigga with no music career. Okay, make sure you're sitting down. Make sure you strap in. Make sure you put on your helmet if you got one. Because the trip that I'm about to take you on, or should I say that we're going to go on together, is one that has several twists and turns. And I'll be perfectly honest, it smooths out more than you may think it will. Old war situation where y'all might have to kill each other when y'all just could have reached out to each other, had that mutual respect because y'all probably both would have respected each other. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's about putting your ego to the side and putting business on the table. Be because you never know how much money y'all can get together rather than uh putting your ego on the, on the table and uh having to deal with a bunch of bullshit. Do what I'm saying? They were monetized it. You know what monetized it, nigga? Do what I'm saying? They were monetized it. You know what monetized it, nigga? Nah, teach me. Ooh, movement of bosses together in elevated structure. City, city. So, since we're on this whole topic of um, viral conspiracies, allow for me to read to you one that makes almost a creepy amount of what I'll call viable sins. So, here we go. Let me show you how the triple cross works. Hmm. Mob ties sacrifice takeoff for Quavo, J Prince, and QC. Was J Prince's birthday? Birthdays are the most satanic days for blood sacrifice rituals in the entertainment industry. 
The dice game was a stage. Quavo played his part very well. It was his shooter that shot his nephew, not nobody from Houston. Take never touched the dice or gambled on camera, not once. Quay getting mad over seven bands is pure BS. That was the signal for the shooter to get active. If you a millionaire, why would losing $7,000 hurt your pockets when you got on $500,000 worth of jewelry, supposedly? Unless it's fake. Y'all gotta know, November is an energy harvesting month. Y'all favorite rappers die every year in November. Y'all gotta tap in spiritually though. I know from a reliable source, heard that before, that this was an insurance money play. You gotta ask yourself, who gains the most from take dying? Who will be the center of attention from now on? The answer is Quavo. QC, the real snakes too. They needed to recoup on the money the label spent on the Unk and Few album that just went triple plastic. In the event of death, Key man insurance is paid out and record sales increased tremendously. Slight time out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that that key man part is a like autocorrect thing. I don't really know what that means. If it's not and I'm just being stupid, please feel free to let me know down in the comments. Anyway, back to the article. Guess whose bags are getting bigger from the album they just dropped? Not to mention the Migos streams are about to quadruple. Quavo Marshall. First thing black people do is play the artist that dies music. True. Takeoff lost his life soon as they signed the contract. Everyone in the entertainment industry is marked for death. It was just his day. He knew what he signed up for. They waited until he turned 28 for it all to line up. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Mark of the beast. The media gonna try to spin y'all. I just gave you the answer. Shout out to Offset. They tried to run a backdoor play on him with 4PF about 8 months ago. But he knew what was up. Y'all don't remember hearing about Baby and Offset falling out a while ago. They tried to get him out the way first, but it didn't work because of Cardi. Cardi's so real, man. She gave QCP hmm, three million in cash to buy back Offset's name and intellectual property from QC and Motown. That's why y'all see him doing his own thing now. He the real Michael Jackson of the Migos. Not the one they push out in the front subconsciously. Quavo. That's the real reason Migos split. I know the real information. Don't believe me? Fact check. People close to the situation for real know I ain't BSing. Listen to Shooters Inside My Crib by Quavo. He tell y'all what's up himself. Put a feel. Made him train to kill. If he caught a body, he signed a deal. Don't talk about it, nobody squeal. Upgrade to watch it from stainless steel. You ain't gotta be high on conspiracies, but some ain't right about that messy video. I just watched it, and I had to cut it off, man. Zoom in the corner of Pig. I know, somebody knows what he mean. 11 one Look at the numbers. Gematria? Gematria? Somebody correct me. November, 1 plus 1 equals 2. November 1st, plus year 22 equals 23. 223. Two, three. Death number. D. Hill just explained a triple cross in real time. Now, whew, breathe with me for a second because <laughs> I know a lot of y'all are a lot smarter than I am, literally. But some of this is either stuff that I'm just completely ignorant to or it's just something I'm incapable of processing. So, the, the the death number stuff, the concept of a triple cross, somebody feel free to take their sweet time as I'm sure you will anyway because y'all like making fun of me sometimes. And explain that maybe in layman's terms for you boy because eh, kind of went phew, right over my head if you know what I mean. But some of it makes very, that slip of the tongue in. So there, you see, I'm not perfect either. Not that I ever said I was. Anyway, I digress. Yeah, this stuff is crazy. I told you, it, it will mess with your mind, as you can see. That ain't even the ADD, that's just me going, man, this, what, huh? Okay, so again, put it in layman's terms for me down in the comment section below. And while you're there, if you enjoying what we bringing you and the way we bring it to you, feel free to let us know how we doing. 
And uh, if you really want to show some love, be sure to show that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell. Just a little bit of love only takes a couple of seconds and we'll get your point. But do me one favor between now and the next time you hear my voice. Be safe, be great, and we'll see you on the next go round. Peace. It's a